You're a mess. Now we just gotta air that tire up. Yeah, you got it? No. I gotta show the camera. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm done with. Air the tire up, kid. <laughs> what the hell? Ejector seat? Okay, let, let's go. Yeah. Dude, would you, would you get off my hand? I made loaves. All right, rolling. Wolf Tech Nation. Thank you guys for tuning in to once again another Wolf Tech Videos episode. And no, if you want to pan down your eyes, do not deceive you. This is the GT Aggressor Pro. And we have got a heck of an episode about to go down for you guys. We're fixing to do the long-awaited Zoom real-time review. Now, these are the Zoom HB876s, I believe, four-piston brakes. We're fixing to uh, give you guys a real-time review down the Black Diamond Hayes Creek Run. We're going to start at the point over here. We're going to do a little different today. We're going to start at the point. I'm going to bed these brakes in proper. We've got the Clark 180 millimeter rotors on here, so we know those are nice and bedded in themselves. But let's bed these new pads in, then we'll fix them to get started for you, man. But the GT Aggressor Pro, man, she's back. Let's do this. All right, so what we're going to do, the plan is to basically just run in the front, let off a little bit. We're going to break in that rear and just kind of switching it back and forth. And they feel decent right now. There's no squish to them, but again, they're not really warm just yet. And this is a pretty good decline. All right, we got Wolfman here. Add him in? Yeah, I think that's good. All right, good little run. I just about beat you down here. They, they felt like they're wanting to grab and they did get progressively better down here. But let's put these brakes to the test now. Let's see how much squish we got. All right, guys, Hayes Creek run, let's do it. Now that's Miller's Goat. We could take that to Hayes Creek. But the reason I don't like taking that route to Hayes Creek is because you get a better run and a better send off up here taking it. You just get a little bit more speed. This way you kind of have to do a little kiss your own butt and whip around real fast. Okay. So this is what we want right here coming in through this way. So we'll do a little circle around and then we'll have some speed going. All right, let's hit it guys. Hayes Creek run, here we come. Zoom HB876, hydraulic four piston brakes. If you guys saw up in the parking lot, showed some B-roll. It looks like all four pots are actually working to answer some of your questions out there. All right, here we go. Good air. Been a minute since I've been on this bike. Forgive the first little send off there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch to one finger braking for this first portion. We're gonna talk about it and see if these are all what they're cracked up to be as far as the one fingers. And theoretically, they should be one fingers, right? One finger breakers. Okay. And I read this in the comments a lot and we're having that problem already. We haven't even gotten started yet. The issue is I've done the reach adjustment. That's the only adjustment that's on here. And when I go to squeeze with one finger, that lever is already hitting my knuckle on my middle finger. So you kind of have to do two finger, one finger into the first. Yeah, little sketchy and I'm hitting my knuckle. I'm gonna switch to two fingers on these guys. Okay. And if I go any further out with the reach, I won't feel comfortable enough to actually grab the lever. So that's out of the question. All right, see, we got another berm here. Let's take it. Okay, so it's a little washed out. That front brake almost locked up on me right now with the two finger. That's surprising. Most of the time it's that rear because it's so light back there, but this front one actually is wanting to wash out. We're talking about how long these levers were. 
And one of the things I don't like right now, I haven't really gotten on these brakes yet to really squeeze them. And it almost feels like, like I can snap that lever off. You know what I mean? Okay, we got a good garden here, rock garden. Slowed me down very fast. Let's go to one finger. Eh, again, hit my knuckles. We got some good air there. Okay, good job slowing me down. They're biting on these rotors really good. And these rotors are those Clarks we talked about. I love these Clark rotors. They're stomping down pretty good. Now, after all that stopping up there and squeezing of the triggers, or the levers, I mean, I will say they're starting to engage a lot sooner than they were in the beginning. In the beginning, they were hitting my knuckles with the one fingers, right? Now that we've been pumping them up, look at my space on the finger. I'm not even hitting my knuckle, but I can do a one finger stop right now because all of that build up. So that's one thing that the M420s definitely did not do on this bike. Uh, they did not feel any different from start to finish. And that's really important to not have that feeling on your bike. You want to know where your brakes kick in, where they don't. Because, you know, you learn your bike over time and you learn your brakes. And these are a little all over the place right now. And I miss this trail. Whew. Head movement. Okay. All right. Get down past my little crash area. I'm going to have to readjust a little bit. It is so washed out, guys. Wow. Everything is just eroded. They had some ice a while back. All right, let's take a look at these brakes. Now I will say I can feel the pads making contact with the rotors, but it doesn't feel like they're getting an extremely big amount of grab. Like the uh, 420 pads, how those get a really good grab and you can feel the entire thing making contact. Like I can feel it, it's just not wanting to really stop me. And I will say both tops and bottom uh, pots or pistons, whatever, they are working simultaneously. And on the rear one here, little bit of discoloration up towards the top. That discoloration was not there previously with the MT420s. Um, and another thing is the, the lack of feel and feedback from the brakes. In the beginning, it was really good. Here's the wall that we're hitting here. And you see how close it is again? Earlier, it was about out here. So that's the entire reach. I was squeezing and it was about hitting there. Now we're squeezing all the way back. So there is some, and this is the front. There really shouldn't be too much of a change up here, but there is a lot of give and sponginess back here. And on the rear, it looks like we have the exact same problem. Oh, that one's even more so. Look at that. And these are both set to be the same. Was stopping out there and now it's up here, but... All right, well, those are the zooms. Let's keep on getting. We're not done yet. I'm gonna show you guys some more of this trail. All right, guys. All right, let's continue on. Man, I have to say, I miss this GT so much. It's been a minute since we've uh, since we've ridden on this thing, man. Especially with this Enix fork up front. You can't find it anymore, which is a bummer. But you can find these brakes. Check out the affiliate links below. And if you guys are enjoying the review, please like. Golly, that front fork soaks everything up. Let's hit this little feature here. Okay, nice and smooth, man. All right, got a little berm here, switch back. Two fingering. Okay, all right, this next one, I'm telling you, we're gonna do a one finger. I keep psyching myself out to go back to the one finger because it just won't stop. One finger, tip my knuckle. Yeah, they're definitely not one finger breakers. Let's jam through here. Oh yeah, look at this, they fixed it. Ranger, Mr. Strain, the officer was telling me that they fixed this right before the waterfall, that berm. Oh wow, that's nice. Monument trails, man, they do some great work out here. About need to come back out here and put some more dirt down. Okay. Now we do have to keep in mind there's a ledge right here we have to keep that in mind oh man tire just uh, i'm all good i got them all padded up the uh my tire just <coughs> didn't grab on this really loose dirt looks like nobody's really been out here riding today but it's so loose man but anyway um you have to keep in mind the price of these brakes let's go on the other side of this waterfall and we'll talk about it uh, let's look at this waterfall 
How gorgeous is that? We got this awesome bridge that we come through. Wow, that's making me thirsty. <laughs> so let's talk about these brakes are $75. Walking back to the GT. And for 75 bucks, you get hydraulic brakes uh, with pads that you can find, right? The Shimano pads, you can find those. They're mineral oil. You can get mineral oil anywhere. And pretty much the same BH-59 hose with the olives and the barbs. So I think they're, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Would you buy these brakes? Will you buy these brakes? Let us know. But guys, let's finish this trail out and hopefully there's no more washed out areas. Yeah, $75 is pretty damn cheap. I think what would be interesting to do is buy some cheap levers, like some Shimano levers if you can find some, and put them on these brakes. I think that would be a good combo. Has anybody done that? Mix match their calipers and brakes? See, now we're biting pretty good. And like I said, they're not, they don't have a problem biting or uh, stopping you or slowing you down. The problem is... Uh, whew, about to get washed out again. The problem is the sponginess with the levers. So everybody know that you you have a certain feel throughout and then it kind of gives up on you you just have to squeeze harder to slow down Here we go, it's the fun part. This is the suckiest part at the same time because we're almost done. Came in a little high on that. All right, guys, well, there is a review. Let's go down to the truck and let's talk about these zoom brakes, man. Ooh. All right, guys, that was the real time review of the Zoom HB876 four piston hydraulic brakes. Now, I want to explain to you these brakes are pretty good, okay? Uh, I want to get it and start off by saying if I was going to pay $75 and I was on a budget to buy some four piston brakes and them actually feel like a four piston and not a two piston, I'd get these. So I want to state that right off the bat, okay? Number two, these are not one finger breakers, they're two finger breakers. I think they probably could be one fingers, but the issue is I think the lever and the plunger design, something's wrong because they get so spongy. You know what I mean? Up on the top when I was breaking these things in and getting the pads all uh, bedded in, there wasn't a problem. It didn't feel squishy at all. About a quarter way down that trail, when I started to squeeze the lever, the lever had different places that it was biting all throughout. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like a stuck spot like the MT420s I'm used to on this bike. Those things are, here's the wall, and it's constantly there. You know where to grab. These here are all over the place, so that's kind of a pain in the butt. They are spongy, but they are stopping me. And I had to do the two finger, even though I adjusted the, the uh, throw on them. Even when I try to go to the one finger, the big problem is it's hitting my knuckles. So it's coming back and hitting the rest of my hand, which is very uncomfortable. Do they feel like four pistons? Yes. They do feel like four pistons, just not the best of the best. And for not 75... MT420s. No. And for $75, I wouldn't expect them to be. I was maybe... I had a little bit of hope, but... Yeah, well, the MT420s, we paid $125 pre pan Pretty real bad That was a minute. That was a, a yeah. while ago. Yeah. Now they're about $179,200. So... Yeah, I will definitely pay half of that and get some of these guys. Uh, and the last thing I want to say is the levers. Uh, they do feel chancy. It almost feels like when you start really having to break, almost like you're going to break it off. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they don't feel thick at all. They, they, they didn't do a bad job of wrapping around the finger, but they just do feel a little chancy. Guys, we appreciate you watching Wolf Dick videos as always. I know this was an anticipated review. Hopefully I did a good enough job for you guys. Hayes Creek washed out on me a little bit. But uh, yeah, you guys seen it. We will see you on the next one. If you guys like the review, please give a big old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. And guys, check out those affiliate links below if you guys are interested in some of this stuff. And if you guys want to support the channel, you guys can always feel free to please buy some coffee down there. We'll give you guys a little shout out if it's five or more. And you guys can even become a patron to help us out even more and get to see some bonus content, some unedited Wolfman in his drunken uh, state. But we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.